So today I'm so excited. I'm gonna share all of my favorite makes for 2020 in this video. To celebrate, I'm wearing my most favorite make from 2019. So let's get started. Before I get started, if you like fabric hauls, pattern reviews, all things sewing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell to be notified when I have another video. But let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna get the knitting project out of the way, all right? But this, this is my most favorite knitting project that I've literally ever made, okay? It is a cardigan. I almost thought it was gonna be too small for me and that it was gonna fit my daughter, <laughs> but it fit me. The pattern is from Fable Knitwear. Okay, it's kind of impossible to show it to you, but I will pop up some pictures. Nice little poof sleeve, very delicate, very fitted. I just love it. I can't wear it over everything because I wear, have a lot of things with poof sleeves, but I can wear it over a lot and I absolutely love it. It's in merino wool. It's so soft and you have to, if you knit, you have to check out her patterns. All right, so that was my favorite. I oh, got that out of the way. In case y'all are like, wah, wah, I don't knit. Stop talking about knitting. <laughs> um, I do do, I do do, I do more than one thing. So, all right. Dun, 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 dun. Surprise, supply, surprise, surprise. Another polka dot blouse in my favorites for 2020. This is the LB Textiles Cornell shirt. Very, very good pattern for me. I really like oversized um, blouses and uh, all blouses in general, but especially oversized. The mandarin color was really easy. Um, the placket instructions were really good. It has a placket, um, little pleat in the back or tuck there with a little hanging loop. Um, and yeah, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous shirt. I love polka dots obviously and it goes with a lot of my wardrobe so i really appreciate having this in my wardrobe that being said i also made a skirt to match it and i can totally wear these together this is the sew over it um lizzie skirt and both of these um garments were obviously made from the same fabric and the fabric is from pretty mercery which is another Place that was like my absolute favorite all of 2020. I ordered from them at least two or three times and I love everything that I got from them. So two great garments that I made this year. Next one is, I think it's, I have a French theme. Do you think? I think, I think it's a French theme because this next pattern is a French pattern. Pauline Alice. I don't know how to pronounce the name of the blouse. Okay. Celo blouse or I don't know. Um, but that's what it is. And this fabric is a linen viscose. See these like pretty little pleats there? So beautiful. It's a linen viscose and um, has these beautiful ties in the back. And the fabric is also from Pretty Mercerie. <laughs> um, so French fabric, French pattern. I don't even know if that could get any better. So there's that beautiful hearts hearts are like one of my fa most favorite things i absolutely love hearts um i want to wear heart earrings all the time i put hearts on everything heart appliques and i'm obsessed with hearts next are let's go back into the warmer weather swimsuits i made three swimsuits this year or four i don't even remember but i know i made at least three these are two of them. So the, these are the bottoms. Super cute, high-waisted Sophie swimsuit by Closet Core Patterns. Um, and I think the fabric is from Fabric Fairy, if I remember correctly. And then a bra top, which I did not think I would love at all because I'm very small-chested and any kind of bra top just makes me feel like a lot worse about myself. Let me just be honest. But um, I really, really liked how it looked on me and I will pop up some pictures of that as well. Also made this one, which I absolutely love. That is the front, that is the back. And I 
packed it big time. I have a YouTube video all about it and added this big old ruffle and I love it. Um, this is a swim style pattern. Um, I think they are based in Australia and that fabric I believe was also from Fabric, fabric Fairy. It is a solid and the color um, was paprika in case you're wondering, but it's all on my YouTube video. Check it out. I'm very proud of those swimsuits and I really love how they looked on me. Next is this Layla dress by Marsha Style. You know I had to bring up a dress. Now there are so many dresses that I made this year and I didn't want to talk about all of them, but I like love so many of the ones that I made this year. Love. But this one kind of stands out because it is a little bit more wearable than a lot of the other ones that I made. Um, I can literally, I feel comfortable wearing this like any point in time. Like even in the winter, if I wear leggings and like a long sleeve shirt under it, I mean, it's obviously sheer, so I have to wear something underneath it. Um, I would probably like wear this all summer. Um, I made it towards the end of this summer, but next summer, I mean, it can go over swimsuits, it can go over, um, you know, a little camisole dress. Um, I just absolutely love this. It is so my style. It's so bohemian. The flowers are so beautiful. Um, I love the color. Um, and I don't know, there's something about this dress that just makes it feel so wearable and comfortable and relaxed and just I don't know I just love it I can't describe it okay okay I just love it um so very summery but like I said I guess if you wanted to you could wear a turtleneck under it I probably won't because I have a lot of other dresses I can wear in the winter um but if you really wanted to I guess you could next is <laughs> surprise surprise another blouse okay this blouse is very very near and dear to my heart i have a blog post about it that i will pop up um or down below i first when i first made this i was like okay how many button loops are in this pattern so many button loops um but it's such a beautiful pattern it's a hundred percent silk i got the fabric from promenade fabrics um, it has this, it was like a paneled fabric and the edges had this like trim piece and I used that piece to make this tie. Um, and I'm just like, so I'm so proud of this shirt, you guys. I'm just so proud of it. It took me a really long time. I have made another one of this pattern, but I made the short sleeve. I believe this is the only long sleeve that I've made from this pattern. No, 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 no. I made another one with a bunch of ruffles. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know I have another one that is actually another one of my makes that is almost my most favorite, but I feel like this one kind of beat it a little bit. And to be honest, it's a little bit more wearable because it's more relaxed and I can just wear it to go pick up the kids from school or whatever. Like I feel okay wearing a silk shirt with like a pair of jeans. Like that's totally me. Wear this shirt. <laughs> so I think that's why I picked that to be my favorite. The other one with the ruffles I absolutely love, but I don't see myself wearing it like quite as often. And so that's, this is a collection of things that I actually wear all of the time and completely and totally love. Like, you know, when you do the KonMari method by Marie Kondo and you go through your closet and you look at things and you wonder if they give you joy. I mean, these, it's like no question. Like I don't even give them any time. I'm like, oh yes, 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 yes. They're like my absolute favorite. Like I don't even have to think about it. And that's how I want everything in my closet to feel. It's not always like that, but I try my best. Um, next is this trench coat. I made another trench coat last year. Oh no, everything's falling. But um, <laughs> um, I couldn't include it because I didn't make it this year, but it's a plaid trench coat. I interlined it with um, uh, that really warm stuff. Insulate. There we go. I interlined it with insulate and aligned it, added a lining to the pattern. And I have a blog post about that. And I will pop up a picture of that jacket because I love it. But I didn't make it this year. I made this one this year. It is the Fiber Mood Martha trench coat. I made it out of a twill. It doesn't have a lining. 
I'm totally fine with that. It doesn't come with the lining either, the pattern, but has these cute little ties. I mean, it's just so casual, very, very wearable, wooden buttons um, by Tabitha Sewer. Those are Tabitha Sewer buttons. And, um, yeah, it's just like perfection. I love it so much, and it's a color I wear all the time, and I feel like it goes with everything in my wardrobe. So you guys know I mix and match prints and things all the time, but this is a good, solid color that I made, but it's very intricate and has a lot of really fun details, and that's pretty much the only time you'll get me so any solid colors because you know, you know, I push you guys with the print mixing all the time and you're like, uh, I would never put that together. But that's okay, we can all be different and um, I'm okay with that because there's no one like me and there's no one like you, so. You are the only one like me. That was a good, successful, solid color so, and I'm very proud of that. <laughs> um, all right, here is a top I've made rather recently. It's called the Cyclamen Top by Liza Muck So, and I added this little lace edition, which is actually part of the pattern, so it's not something I did on my own. Um, I have a blog post about it, um, and I love it. It has like a little tucked in waist there, and it's just, I, I'm, I treasure it, mostly because um, this lace was a little bit weird to add. It wasn't that hard, but I was like a little bit stressed out about it. And so I feel like I conquered something. Um, and making clothes is so personal. So like my favorite could be favorite for a reason that you would like never relate to. So it's just such a personal thing. But this is my favorite because of the lace, because the lace is vintage. It's for my mom's stash. She doesn't know when she got it, but she knows it's old. Um, and I'm using these beautiful Wim Wham buttons, glass buttons that I absolutely adore. Um, and yeah, it just has so many fun details that I love. Little pleated in sleeves here, little bit of a poof. It's just got, I mean, it's just perfect. I love it. I love it. All right. Here, oh, by the way, I have a YouTube video about this jacket and I will pop a link to that down below. And I think the swimsuits have a YouTube video. This project, however, has a YouTube video on it and it's on a really ugly hanger, so let me take that off. Um, okay, here it is. So it is the Ready to Sew Justine skirt in this mean, mind the maker, excuse me, um, fabric from Lamazi Fabrics, and I believe I have a YouTube video about it and a blog post. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool skirt. It goes with a lot of things. Obviously, it doesn't go with my top right now, but it goes with a lot of my other clothing. Um, I love polka dots. You know this. Um, and I just love the colors. It's a very versatile skirt. I wear it with a lot of things. It's high-waisted. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. In fact, that skirt pattern um, is going to be in a video that I talk about later um, all about free patterns. So that my favorite free patterns. This one used to be free. She did recently change it to where it's like a $2 donation for a charity that she has chosen, but it's still super cheap. And the Lizzie skirt I sew over it um, is not free, but it is another one of my favorite skirt patterns. So those are two of my favorite skirt patterns. And so it makes sense that the garments are in the pile. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Nope, that's everything. Um, there are so many things I made this year that I absolutely love. But when I was trying to think of my favorites, these were the ones that popped into my head. So if you had any favorites or you follow me on Instagram, um, let me know. If you have any questions about anything or comments or um, ideas or anything like that that you want to share, let me know. And I hope you guys are having a fabulous day and some uh, fun times during these holidays um, during a, an ongoing pandemic. <laughs> um, keep your head up, keep sewing, keep crafting, keep doing what you do, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!